Hi everybody, this is Donna Lay from DonnaLay.com and today we'll be demonstrating a beginner's technique or, or intermediate. Uh, this is to show um, how to answer a question about a uh, job. You can use this for any question you want if there's more than one. And this person asks the following. I want to know if I'll be working consistently this year in a job or in my own biz business or both. So let's see what we find. So let's first of all look at what this person does in their job. So I'm going to look for a job card. So if it's a regular job, I'm going to look for the tower. So where is our tower card? There it is. I'll take a few cards to the right of it. And I'll take a few cards to the left of it. And we will put that down first. Keeping them in the same order. And then we'll take a look at business. This person will do the same thing. And since this is a smaller business, we could use um, fish, we could use fox, we could use uh, bear is already in here and I'm glad. We could use the woman, just her. And I think I want to use, hmm, I'm going to use the woman because I would like fox or fish to give us information if it comes up the woman. So I'm looking through the deck for, there she is, our woman. I'm not going to move the cards. I'm going to keep them in the right order. So let's see if she can do one or both. Now the way I read Lenormand, and this is not how everybody reads it, so you may hear some variations on this. This is just to give you a little idea. And I'm only making it in a V so you can see clearly where the middle lies. So you can see how these cards uh, react. So this is one spread, and this is another spread. We're going to look at how her regular business is and whether that looks like she'll be working uh, enough to sustain her. And then if she wants to do her own private biz, if that will work to sustain her. So the cards that we have here are mountain, letter, and ring. Tower is our card that we've deliberately pulled. Man, bear, and flowers. Okay. So in this first one, as we look at her job, first of all, bear does indicate uh, work. It does indicate strength. And as does uh, this right here with gifts and being able to do things. It, it, the punctuation at the end of this, the last word, is a good card. And that is our bouquet. So I think that's an excellent um, suggestion that she may be able to do this. It looks like she may get the help of a man doing this. So there may be some kind of either... He, this could be her boss because bear and man are side by side. So it may be a male boss giving her gifts and of that. On the and on the left side of it, what we have is what she's been going through recently is a really an uphill climb. So we get that it's been really difficult with mountain. Letter is messages, trying to get information out there, trying to develop a contract. And this shows that there is a contract. So she may be in that right now, working in some kind of a contract. So it does head in a nice position. If you think of this as past and then future or progression of time, it looks like it starts out hard, but it ends out good. So this is in her regular job. So if we look at where she is in her private business, something she does on the side. What we have here is hearts, clovers, clouds. And on the right side, we have sun, path, and whip. So what we have for this particular spread is the same progression of time as the top one, past, future, and we have this, uh, the final card here is the final punctuation of the path. This right here is a final punctuation of the future. And uh, I was hoping we would see this card. This is the path. So what we've got, hearts, clover, clouds, woman, sun, path, and whip. Now, first of all, I was looking for the path because the crossword of the path shows a dividing up or two things or doing two things. And this suggests she may actually be doing two things, this and this. Um, and the whip can be a hard one, but it could also be hard work. It can be discipline. It can be um, over and over and over. This is something she may find may be repetitive. She has to do the same thing over and over. And exposure, trying to get herself out there. Um, there may be different ways that she does that, but the sun is a great card. Um, two ways and over and over. So this suggests that if she did just her own business, 
she would need the assistance of something else. It might be a little hard. The wood can be a little sharp on the back. Um, but in this, the, the cards coming up to her now are, she really likes to do this. Whatever it is she's doing, you can see she's got a lot of passion for it. She's, there's luck, there's goodness, and, and um, these are together are like Valentine cards. They're wonderful cards. But clouds suggest that the punctuation at the end of this is there's, there's either confusion of how to make it happen, not being able to do it, and that's closest to the woman. So that's a hard thing because if you love something that dearly, trying to make it happen and not being able to to get through that is can, can be really hard and, and meddlesome. So I think she can do it, and this looks fabulous, but it looks like she will need assistance from a second job, which is probably this one. And it looks like between the two of these, because it did end up in this, when she had the assistance of this job, it looks like she's doing great, and that will be how she ends up going. So whatever this corporate job is with, at this institution, whatever it happens to be, will end up being uh, something important to her. And I like how the contract card is here. I'm going to show you another technique. Some people use mirroring. So instead of past and future, they would use these cards. So a man creates a contract. Next two cards are a document and a bear, a letter. Uh, this could be a notification, a resume about a job. It could be that you got the job, notification of a job, notification from a boss. And then the last two cards, bouquet and mountain, having a difficult time, but it ends up good. Okay, because you read in blends and this is the punctuation. If we were to do that same thing of our private business, look at that, clouds go to sun, it's just like a weather report. So it starts out difficult and it ends up good. Dark, darkness to light. A little bit of luck in doing two things. And then the last two, doing something she loves, but a lot of repetition, a lot of work. And if I really wanted to get tarot-y, tarot <laughs> tarot-y with this card, this looks a lot like the crossroad and is kind of like leading back to that. Uh, Strictly Norman readers would probably whip me for saying such things um, and looking at the imagery so closely, but I like to, when I'm done, after I see what the cards have to say, kind of look at them and see if the imagery has anything fun in it like you might see in tarot, but I wouldn't let that be the uh, what leads you to your, your decision in terms of what you see in the cards. It's kind of like a little addendum later. So that's what I see. I think this person is going to do what she loves, but she won't be able to survive on just that. But this second thing that she gets in the corporate-like world will give her strength and let her show her gifts. And good luck to you.